What is a D&D game without loot? Gold, gems, magic items, those are all staples of the game. But how should PCs divide it up among themselves? That's exactly what we're gonna look at today on Ask a DM. Hey, Lugard here. I have been a dungeon master since high school, and I create weekly videos with information and resources to help dungeon masters run awesome games. So if you're looking to level up your D&D game, roll a crit on that subscribe button down below and click that bell if you want to be notified when new videos come out. All right, let's do this. Anderson on Facebook asks, how do you guys handle divvying up money in a game? For context, a character looted all of the enemies after an encounter. I specified how much gold there was, and he kept it all. Now, another player was upset that he didn't get any. Should I specify X gold to each person going forward? Or is it every player character for himself? I come up with how much gold they get, assuming they will split it. I'm not going to create more gold because that might ruin the economy. Now Anderson, I think that you're seeing for yourself that one of the things with loot distribution is that if it isn't equitable, players have a tendency to get upset about it. And honestly, it can also turn into a logistical pain in the butt if you're always having to divide every little bit of loot you find. So this is how I handle loot distribution in my games that sort of avoids both of those problems. First, I have a party loot list and all loot that is found in the game goes into that loot list no matter who finds it. So your rogue goes ahead and loots that chest all by himself? Doesn't matter, it goes into the party loot list. And why, you may ask? Well, if you let that rogue pocket all of those things for himself, everybody else at the table knows that it's happening, and they can hear that player telling you that he's keeping it for himself, and then those players have a strong tendency to get upset about it. And then resentment starts to set in, and it can spill over, causing other problems in other parts of the game. Now this actually happened in one of my games, so I am speaking from experience. I had a player come on and I believe he was a rogue and he was going ahead and he was looting things for himself. Treasure chest, money off from things they had killed, all of that sort of thing. And one night that player left before some of the other players left the game and one of my other players basically blurted out, hey, it is complete BS that he is looting everything and we don't get anything. And it was at that moment that I realized that I needed to put a stop to that because here's the thing, if one player is expressing discontent with something, it's possible that other players who perhaps don't have the courage to say anything are also feeling the same way. And here's the thing, this is not a question of realism, this is a question of protecting group dynamics and keeping the players happy. Is letting the rogue take 80 percent of all of the loot really worth the risk of your group imploding? Now you as the dungeon master get to make that decision for your group. However, I have decided that the risk is not worth it. So everything goes into the party loot list and how is that loot list used? Well, when the PCs are in town, they can basically use it to stock up on things they need, buying healing potions, spell scrolls, or anything. If one of the players wants to buy something, he just says, hey guys, I want my dude to go do this, that, or the other, I need some money, and then, you know, loot is just divvied out to that person. So each player gets to decide things that he wants to spend that loot on, and then the group as a whole sort of decides how that money gets spent. Now the big advantage here is that nobody gets screwed, and all of the players know that it's even Steven, and nobody is getting left out. Now I have a thought about magic item distribution as well, because I think that's a little bit different than just like coins and gems and stuff. But before I go into that, let me know down in the comments what you think is a good way to distribute loot in a game. All right, magic items. The basic deal here is that I make sure that every player gets some. Now what I do is I hand pick magic items for specific PCs and when they find them in an adventure, I explicitly tell them which PC the magic item is for. A lot of times I will just write that PC's name at the top of the magic item sheet. Now, this might seem metagamey to you, and it honestly is. However, it prevents players from feeling left out. It prevents them from feeling that they got screwed and that this guy is getting tons of awesome magic items and I'm not getting anything. Because here's the thing I've experienced in my games. You will have some players that are very vocal and other players 
players that are not vocal. And when a magic item drops, let's just say that it's a flying carpet. There is going to be a player who is like, I want that magic item, I want it, blah 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 blah. And let's just say that player is a melee type. Everybody at the table knows that the best person to give that flying carpet to is not the melee type. It is to the spellcaster, perhaps, or the bard, as a way to keep him out of combat. But, because that player who is playing the barbarian, or whatever it happens to be, is very vocal about getting it, nobody else really says anything, and he ends up getting it. And he might continue to do that, continue to be vocal, until he ends up with the majority of magic items, just because he is very strong-willed and assertive and vocal, and none of the other players really say anything. But it's your job as a DM to sort of manage this situation, because if you don't, what's going to happen is that as that one player gets all of the magical items, all of the other players are feeling left out, and they're slowly getting more and more disgruntled about it. Now, either they're going to say something to you, or they're just going to hold it all in, and until they finally explode, and then you have even bigger problems to deal with at your group. So what I like to do is just head all of that crap off and make sure that everybody gets his fair share. Now, I do occasionally drop a miscellaneous magical item and I allow it to go to whoever wants to get it, but those are rare. Now, if you have a question about dungeon mastering or have a problem in your games, please let me know down in the comments. I try to bare minimum to give everybody a written response. However, your question might also be featured in one of my videos. Also, feel free to join a community of other dungeon masters that I've begun over on Discord. I will put a link down below in the description to that. We kind of get together and ask each other questions about Dungeons and & Dragons and generally just try to help each other out in our games. And until next time, let's play D&D.